It's Walt Disney World ADR Day! And if you're thinking, re, what's an ADR? An ADR is an advanced dining reservation, which can be made 60 days before your Florida trip. So today I'm booking dining reservations for our Florida 2024 trip, meaning we fly in 60 days today. I cannot believe how quickly this trip is coming around and how exciting it is. I'm going to be explaining exactly what you need to do if you have to book your ADRs, including timings, tips, everything you need to do before to prepare, all of it. So don't panic, we're gonna do it together. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. The first thing you need to know is exactly when you can book your advanced dining reservations and this is going to depend whether you're staying on or off property at Walt Disney World. If you're not staying at a Walt Disney World Resort hotel and let's say the first day of your trip is a Monday, then 60 days before that Monday you can book your first dining reservations. Then 60 days before the Tuesday, you can book the Tuesday reservation. Then 60 days before Wednesday, you book the Wednesday reservation. So you're going to have to log in each day if you want to have the very first opportunity to grab those dining reservations. If, however, you are staying on property, which we are, 60 days from the first day of your trip, you can book dining reservations for the first 10 days of your stay. Now, we're actually only staying in Walt Disney World for seven nights for this trip because after that we will be sailing on the Disney Wish, which is so, so exciting. And there's a whole video explaining exactly what we're doing on this trip and why we're doing it, all that kind of stuff. So check that out after you've seen this one. But it does mean today I'm able to book the dining reservations for the entire seven days that we're there. So that's really, really exciting. So you need to know exactly when to book these reservations. This is a date you need to have in your diary as soon as you book your trip. Make sure it's in your calendar, you've got alerts going off and you know in advance when this date is gonna be. It's really, really important. Now, at the time of filming, advanced dining reservations go live at 6 a.m. Florida time. Now I'm in the UK, that translates to 11 a.m. UK time. Not to be confused with when you're doing Disney Cruise Line check-ins and you can do that from midnight Florida time, which works out 5 a.m. UK time. So luckily today there was no having to get up early to do these ADRs for us. It's 11 a.m. in the UK, but I do want you to make sure that you check this with the time zone. You check that the time zone in your country correlates with the Florida time zone. It hasn't changed for summertime or anything like that just make sure that you've got that time checked for your current time zone. And unless you're watching this day on the day of release, make sure you do check with Walt Disney World to check that they haven't changed that time for some reason from 6 a.m. So before you book your ADRs, you're going to need to plan out your trip and decide where you want to go. At the time of filming, it's currently November, 2023, and you've currently got to book your park days even if you're staying on property and you've got a 14 day ticket, you still have to decide which park you want to go to. And this is kind of a hangover from the COVID times. Now, luckily by January of 2024, which is when we'll be in Florida, this system will have gone and we can go to whichever park takes our fancy that day. However, you're still gonna want to plan out your trip so that you can maximize what you want to do. So we've already kind of penciled in which parks we're planning to do on each day and therefore which restaurants we might want to eat in. To do our Florida planning, we have been using my magical trip planner, which includes space to write out your bucket lists for your table service restaurants, as well as quick service restaurants, characters, all that kind of stuff. But right now we're concentrating on the table service restaurants because they are the ones that we're going to need to make our advanced dining reservations for. Are you with me so far? So you're gonna to wanna to have a look at which restaurants you fancy. Vlogs are a really, really great way to do this. You're gonna get a look at the theming of the restaurant. You're gonna to get to see which kind of food there is and hear people's opinions. But also check out the Walt Disney World website and the My Disney Experience app because it will give you extensive details about each restaurant, photographs, locations, and perhaps most importantly, the menus so that you can go through just because some vlogger has raved about a place if it's not food that you and your family are going to enjoy if it's not to your taste it's not going to be for you and what you're going to need to do just as we've done here you're going to want to write out the restaurants that are on your bucket list write down the location and the price range for the restaurant or if like us you've got the Walt Disney World dining plan then you can write down how many tokens each restaurant requires and if they accept dining plans because just to let you know not all restaurants do. 
So the dining plan is only just coming back to Walt Disney World. It was not available for our 2022 trip. And we have gone for the dining plan with table service options. Each day on our Disney dining plan, each guest age three and over, of which all of our party are, gets one quick service meal, one table service meal, one non-alcoholic or alcoholic drink if the guest is over 21, one selected snack or drink, and a refillable resort mug. And then in the last column, there is space to write down the ideal date and time although you may have to be flexible with this if you can't get the reservation at the date and time that you are looking for. Before time for your ADRs, which I have done here, it's important to log on to your My Disney Experience app or the website. Make sure all your logins are working properly. I have been doing that this morning. You can choose to book the restaurants the reservations either through the app or through a browser. I'm gonna be using the browser. I just find it easier. It's quicker to navigate. I have got my computer and my iPad here just in case we have hiccups. Leading up to the time that your ADR reservation opens, you can find all the restaurants that you're looking for and open them in separate tabs. So all you've got to do is click through to each one, refresh it when your date loads. Now, hopefully come 11 a.m., which is in just a few minutes, when I refresh each tab, we can go through... The dates will become available. Fingers crossed now that we're going to be able to get all of the restaurants that we are after. So in no particular order, the restaurants that we have discussed as a family and that we're hoping to get are Chef Mickey's, which is a really difficult dining reservation to get, but fingers crossed. We're hoping for the Princess Dining in Norway. Obviously character dining was really minimal on our last trip. We did see a peak of Cinderella as she stood and waved from the corner in Cinderella's royal table. But it's really nice that on this trip, it's going to be a full experience with all of the characters, hugs and autographs back. So the princess dining in Epcot should be amazing. We're hoping for Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, which is a new Toy Story themed restaurant in Hollywood Studios, which has opened since our last trip. Ohana's in the Polynesian, which again is a really difficult reservation to get, but fingers crossed. The children wanna go back to Crystal Palace where we did eat on our last trip, but there were no characters. And now the Winnie the Pooh characters are back to meet guests in that restaurant. So that would be amazing. And they'd also like to go back to Hollywood and Vine where there were characters on the last trip, but they were very much appear and wave from the middle of the restaurant. There were no hugs and autographs, but the children really like that restaurant. So they'd like to do that as a repeater. And then the possibility may be space to tour. Not entirely sure about that one. We're just gonna see, we're gonna see what we can do, see what we can get. It's nearly time to log on, it's really, really exciting. Before you log on, make sure you've got your credit card to hand. It's not that they want to take full payment now, but they need a credit card on file in case you are a no-show and then you will get a fee for not showing up. I do use a Monzo card when we are traveling abroad so that I don't get currency exchange fees when traveling. If you wanna grab one for yourself, it's free to get. I just use the free plan and it works absolutely great for me. So the Monzo card itself doesn't cost me anything. Just full disclosure, I'm not working them. This isn't exactly an ad, it's more like a private referral, but if you use my code to grab yourself a Monzo card when you make your first transaction, you get five pounds added to your account and I get five pounds added to mine. In the words of Rafiki, it is nearly time. <laughs> okay, so I'm all logged in. Let's refresh. I'm excited and slightly nervous. Oh, just really hope that we can get the reservations. The children are really invested in this. They've watched a lot of vlogs. They're quite adamant. These are the right choices. Three minutes to go. Nope, still not ready. I'm absolutely sure whatever we do in Walt Disney World, we're gonna have an amazing time. But by being organized, by really thinking about your choices and logging in as early as you can, you'll most likely to get the reservations that you are after. It's a really different experience this time. The children and my husband actually, no one was really interested before our first Florida trip in helping me plan the restaurants. It's like they couldn't imagine what it was gonna be like and they just weren't interested. I showed them vlogs then as we got closer to the trip and they got a bit more invested. But now that they've been, they're obsessed and they are very, very invested in making the absolute right choices as to where we eat each time. Oh, 10.59. Refresh, 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 refresh. Oh, yes, right, okay. Hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's supposed to, it's supposed to do the whole welcome. Oh, what? it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me do it. Oh, it's only letting me book 60 days from today. And I need to book 60 days from tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're staying on property. We've got a dining plan. Right, why is that? My Disney, oh my goodness. Reserve dining, through the dining plan. We are, we are, we are. We are staying on property. There is a problem. Uh, uh. As 
we're staying on site. Yep, shows are staying on site. Right, I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. We are booked, I've just checked. Hotel stay is associated with my account. And now my computer has frozen. Oh my goodness, it's not going well, it's not going well. Open up the laptop, boot up the laptop. My computer's frozen. Let's get in on my iPad. Oh no. Yep, computer has totally frozen now. That's nothing to do with the Disney World website. That is my computer just deciding it's going to totally turn itself off and restart itself. So we're opening up my iPad. We're opening up my laptop. This is a bit stressful now. Why is this not working? Oh. It's opened up, oh. Right, on my iPad, I can now check availability. For... <sighs> that was a bit stressful. Okay, check availability. Okay, we want, can we get Chef Mickey? Is that what we wanted? Is that the right one? Oh my goodness, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Is it working? Is it working? It's working. So my computer has turned itself off. We're getting there on my iPad. Okay, so that one's for Chef Mickey's. Looks like we've got that. Credit card guarantee. Okay, luckily I've got my card saved by Apple Pay. Store the card for future use. Complete while we, while we complete your request. Woohoo! We got Chef Mickey's. We got Chef Mickey's. We got Chef Mickey's. Right, okay, next. Oh, it's all going off here. I've got multiple computers open. That one, my computer started, be started because of a problem. It was a problem. It was quite a big problem because I'm in the middle of trying to do my ADRs. Okay, guys, it's not helpful. Thank you, computer. So you can sign in from multiple devices. Clearly, I should have been signed in on my laptop as well as my iPad as well as that, just in case one of them crashed, which it did, which it did. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's take you through the process. Okay, so this is the Royal Banquet with the princesses. You can see the menus, but look, we can go back to all that. We need to go back, choose the date from the drop down menu. So then once you've selected the date, check availability. We are looking for perhaps later in the day. You can choose just the breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you can choose an actual time. Now, if your time is on the cusp, like 4 p.m., is that dinner, is that lunch, just choose the actual time. It'll give you times in and around that time that might be appropriate for you. Now, on a park day, we can be pretty flexible if we're just in one park all day as to when our dining is gonna happen. It doesn't really matter. Okay, are we getting this? Is this happening? So once you've got your time selected, There'll be the swirl of doom while you wait patiently. Then we can move on to the next screen. We can choose to add any extras like celebration cakes. We don't want that. We're gonna skip that for now. Then we're on to the next screen where you need to choose your party. There'll be a drop down menu with all the other people in your party and you just choose who you want to come along with you. Now my eldest is not coming with us on this trip. So it's just myself, my husband and the three little ones. Then it'll take you onto the next screen for the payment. I'm just using the same credit card stored on my profile. Wait, will we complete your request? You've got to confirm your mobile number, including the country code. So there's no good putting an 07 at the beginning. For the UK, it's got to be plus 44 and then seven and the rest of your number. Special directory requirements, no. You can read through the guest policies and restrictions. You then have to tick to say you've read the guest policies and then you can hit reserve. Wait while you're compl we complete your request. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Congratulations! That is excellent. Congratulations. Okay. Dining plans not accepted. Chef Mickey's is saying dining plans not accepted. The Princess Storybook is saying dining, dining plans not accepted at this stage, but I'm guessing that is just because dining plans are not actually back at the moment because it says on the main page how many dining tokens it will cost. Moving on. So it does actually say on the front page where the lunch and the dinner options are. So if you, you can take a look at that before clicking or just check availability for the exact time that you want. Okay, the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Mm, okay, uh, any later? Search times. Hmm. So we could eat quite late or quite early. Mm, I'm thinking we wanna go a bit earlier because I don't want to eat too late in Hollywood Studios because I want to make sure that we can go to 
Fantasmic, which we're really, really looking forward to seeing. So I'm thinking an earlier rather than later dining reservation for the restaurants in Hollywood Studios. Oh, I've got to say, my heart rate is going. This is both exciting and terrifying at the same time. <laughs> oh, when I thought it wasn't going to show up, don't do what I did, guys. If you panic initially and you can't see the reservation slots for your entire trip, just keep refreshing and they should pop up like they did for me. Yeah, it's saying dining plans not accepted for all of them at the moment. I'm guessing because it says on the main page that they are accepted, that's got to be just some sort of glitch where the system is not updating to the fact that they will be available in ja come January. Whew, it's getting exciting. Let's try for Ohana's. We want dinner at Ohana's. What can it do for us? <gasps> We've got it. They've got options. No, I'm gonna go for, no, 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 go back, go back, I changed my mind. Oh, no, back, 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 cancel. Oh, no, cancel, oh, I'm gonna lose it now. I've dithered, I've dithered, I got the wrong time. I've gone for a slightly later one, right. Uh, dinner at five, it's still there, it's still there, nobody panic. Okay, selecting all of the party members again. I just do them all in age order each time just to make sure that everyone's in there. Okay, please wait. We are absolutely smashing through this, guys. Wow, Ohana's. So we've got Ohana's. We've got, we're gonna be eating Ohana's. That means we can actually watch the fireworks from across the lake. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now, one of the reservations we were thinking about doing was the restaurant in Mexico where you eat inside the big pyramid. The children decided that although that place looked really cool, it wasn't as Disney. Obviously, it's in Disney, it's in Epcot. Um, but they'd rather eat in Hollywood Studios where they're actually gonna see Mickey and Minnie. And it's on the day where we're planning to do half of Epcot, half of Hollywood Studios. So they've decided Hollywood and Vine rather than the Mexican restaurant in the Mexico Pavilion. So like I said, it's just, it's very Disney. It's very Mickey and the gang. And let's face it, that's why we're there. We're only in Walt Disney World for seven nights. Oh no, there's no reservation times at all for Hollywood and Vine between four and 8 p.m. Oh no, how about lunch? Sorry, there are no reservation times at all for Hollywood and Vine. Oh no, not on that day at all. Um, oh, okay, so maybe we could switch this day, Hollywood and Vine day with, oh no. They really had their hearts out on Hollywood and Vine. Okay, we can switch it. We can have a look on the other day. Okay, so Hollywood and Vine, bizarrely, is the first one I've not been able to get for the day I'm looking at. So let's try another day. Ah, so it's got Hollywood and Vine on the other day. Maybe it's because it's a weekend. That might be making a difference. I'm gonna just grab it and I'm gonna have to cancel and swap some things around, I think. And I think this is something that you can do. If necessary, you can grab a reservation, put it in your basket, book it, and then perhaps swap some things around if it's not gonna work for you. Still trying to sort out this Hollywood and Vine reservation. They really did love that one last time. The last one that they're after is Crystal Palace, which is in Magic Kingdom. So we went there before, it was lovely, the food was lovely, but it was not character dining just because, you know, COVID. Okay, it looks like I can get that one. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to switch our plans. So you've gotta be quite flexible with these things. So the day we're gonna do, the kids wanna do, one day where we go half in Epcot to go and see Figment, and then the girls have got these purple spotty dresses they wanna wear to go and see Figment, and then they wanna go wearing the same dresses to Hollywood and Vine. So <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch the day. And then the day we're gonna spend in Hollywood Studios where they wanna dress in their Toy Story Disney Bed Skip, the Toy Story restaurant, we'll just swap around. Sometime later, <laughs> we had some slight hiccups between my computer deciding to just freeze and turn off completely and not being able to get the reservation for Hollywood on Vine on the only night I'd left free and having to rearrange things and Box is saying I can't cancel things. I think we've finally got there. I'm gonna share a couple of tips and then let you know the dining reservations I've managed to secure. First of all, if you've got more than one device, just be logged in on more than one device. Even better, if you have a friend or family member with you that can help, 
enlist their help. I absolutely would have had William here if it was not a school day. If he was not in school, he would have been here with me logging on and I would have been like, right, you book this restaurant for this day. I'll book this one. If my husband was here, I'd be like, right, you book that one. And we could have all been simultaneously booking. As it happens, we've been really, really lucky and able to secure the dining reservations. But if we were staying off property and having to do day by day, we may not have been so lucky. So I think that's even more important to remember to know the exact time that your reservation opens. So for here in the UK, it is 11 a.m. 60 days before. And for us then, I've been able to book that whole trip because our trip is less than 10 days long. If you're going for 14 nights, you'd have to book the first 10 days and then log in 60 days before the last four days. I'm hoping that's making sense. Anyway, if you've got more than one person logging in, two NABO's reservations for you, it's gonna be better. Failing that, if you're there on your own, just have different things logging in. Just in case your computer decides to go, Boop, I am turning off, goodbye. I managed to get myself in a bit of a confusing pickle and to having to swap the reservations around and things. Like I said, I have got a couple of reservations that I don't need now. I've been desperately trying to cancel, but I press the cancel button and it's giving me this error message. So I'm not gonna stress about that too much. I'm just gonna make sure that over the next day or so I cancel it. And if it still keeps throwing up that error message, I will email Disney and ask them to help me with canceling that reservation. Because obviously if you've got reservations you do not cancel, you may be liable for a cancellation fee for being a no-show, even though you're just dining in a different restaurant and they wanna let you cancel the reservation. So the next thing you need to do as soon as you've got your advanced dining reservations is put them all into your calendar. Now, if you're using a digital family calendar, which I'd highly recommend doing the paper and the digital version, it's what I'm doing, it's what I have just done. But if you're using the digital version so that everyone can see it on their phones, that's great. But make sure you put the time zone as Miami, which is the closest location I could find to Orlando when I was putting it into my iPhone. So that when you are putting things in, it's not just, five hours off, if, you, if that makes sense. It's well worth noting that all the park opening times and also noting down any times of shows that you might wanna see, like for example, Fantasmic, Happily Ever After, that kind of thing. And then obviously you wanna be copying them down into your magical trip planner. So you've got everything there at a glance. The magical trip planner is just a really good way to plan out everything that you want to do, all your bucket lists, keep all your information there. And then there are pages within the magical trip planner where you or your kiddos can record your magical trip memories as well. So you can plan out your trip, make your bucket lists, and then day by day, really think right, which attractions are we gonna hit today? Make sure you've got all your reservations in there, all your to-do list, and then you can tick it all off and keep it as a lovely souvenir and memento. So all the details are on screen and also down in the description and in the blog post to go with this video. So before I share the dining reservations that we managed to grab, let me tell you a few of the places that we loved last time but haven't gone for as repeat restaurants. We loved Cinderella's Castle inside the castle. It was absolutely magical. Difficult reservation to get and not a cheap meal, but so, so magical. We adored Be Our Guest restaurant. The food was a little bit fussier than in Cinderella's Castle, so the children preferred the food in Cinderella's Castle, but the decor, the beast, and obviously Belle is obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. So we'd love to do that again one day, but we've just got seven nights on this trip, so we didn't wanna repeat that one. And the other one the children really loved was Garden Grill, which is the restaurant that physically rotates and looks into the living with a land ride, and Farmer Mickey and friends come around to greet guests at the tables. So which reservations have I managed to get? We've been so, so lucky. I actually managed to get Ohana's. Can we even believe it? I've managed to get that for dinner. It was between breakfast and dinner. Breakfast does the character dining. It's not character dining at dinner, but that's not the end of the world because at dinner, we can watch the happily ever after fireworks across the lake. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. So it's gonna be a wonderful, magical experience. I managed to get the princess dining in Norway. I actually managed to get that on a couple of days. That's one of the ones I need to cancel. It's just throwing up that error message right now. I thought that would be a really tricky one to get, but that one was available for multiple days. So we've got that one for Epcot. The children, well, the girls especially, are really excited to do the princess dining. William's a really good sport. He'll go along with it because his sisters want to do it. But the girls are so, so excited for that one. I've got to say that I can't pronounce the name of the restaurant. How do you say it? Acker's House? Ak Ak oh, I'm That's just embarrassing, isn't it? I managed to get the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, which is a new Toy Story restaurant that is brand new since we last went. So really excited to check that one out. 
and the children have already decided we want to do another Toy Story group Disney round for that one. I managed to get the Crystal Palace reservation and we loved the food there last time. It's at such a great location at the top of Main Street and all the Pooh Bear characters are going to be there so that's going to be so magical. I can't wait to see the children's faces. I did manage to get Hollywood and Vine which I'm really really glad about. I know we've been there before and that's one of the two repeater restaurants we are doing but the children really loved it before and it'll be really great now that the full character experience is back. And then I got Chef Mickey's which is in the Contemporary Resort really close to Magic Kingdom. A quick monorail ride away. It's a really difficult reservation to get so I feel so lucky. So I'm genuinely thrilled with all of those reservations. Couple of little hiccups but all in all nothing too major. I was glad I was prepared. I was glad that we'd really thought about the reservations we wanted as a family. We'd done the research, we checked out the menus. So now I've got so much exciting content coming up for you. We've got all the outfit planning, we've got all the packing, and then we've got the vlog series. Now those videos are gonna be going live every Sunday at 8 a.m. So make sure you have subscribed with bell notifications on so you do not miss any of them because you're gonna to wanna to see them. It's gonna be so, so magical. But if you cannot wait that long, then you can check out my Patreon where there is behind the scenes content as well as early release vlogs. So the second that those vlogs are edited, they get put in Patreon for you to watch. You do not have to wait. So click on screen or scan the QR code on screen now to check that out. And I shall see you guys real soon for more Disney content. Mwah. Bye.